guys. It is lunchtime over here in my studio. You can see I have my uh, yummy bowl of chicken soup because it's cold outside. And even though my HVAC um, says that it's 72 degrees inside the house, for some reason my toes are still convinced it's winter. So warm bowl of soup for lunch. Um, but while I let this cool off a little bit, I thought I would um, get into this box over here with you guys. So a few weeks ago, um, I, I follow the, oh gosh, I'm going to butcher the name, but uh, sorry guys, I believe it's Grumbacher, G-R-U-M-B-A-C-H-E-R. Uh, they are a fantastic art supply company. I have um, an easel they made that, whoops little battery night battery life notice there that I had to turn off um, no big deal uh, I have an easel that they made that I've had since I was high school um, and that's a long time and it's still amazing and solid fantastic um, anyway I followed their Facebook page and um, a couple weeks ago it was back before I was really sick so the timelines kind of fuzzy uh, but they were doing a giveaway and I you know commented in the comments and they they drew my name I was one of the winners so they sent me this um, surprise box and I'm excited to open it and I know people do these unboxing videos and you know whatever I just thought it'd be fun to share it with you guys so here we go so these are um, the things that Grumbacher and their parent company chart pack sent um, as the mystery box that I won on this Facebook giveaway and I'm just excited to see what's in here. So here we go. Big cardboard box. Hello eyeballs. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're having a nice lunch time. Um, just some paper here guys. Maybe they thought I needed more paper in my art studio. What do you think? Alright. More paper. And now we get to the goodies. Yay. Okay. Oh there's fun stuff in here. Okay. So what should I show you first? All right. I will start with these. All right. Let me hold it up close so you can see it a little better. Let's see which brand is this. This is, uh, Ooh, I'm not sure exactly. I think this is Koinor Hardmuth. These are some solid German names guys, but these are, um, graphite blocks. So if you're not an artist, graphite's what's in the middle of your pencil. It hasn't been lead um, since the, you know, like the 20s maybe, thank God. Um, and so these are, these are just solid, uh, not cubes, blocks. They're blocks. They're long blocks of graphite. And these are 4B, which is a soft graphite. And that means that I can make a line on the on the paper that's uh, very light, but then if I press a little harder, it gets really dark and rich. And 4B is my favorite um, level of pencil to use when I'm doing contour drawing. So I am super excited about these. Um, it's going to be really fun to use these because unlike when I'm drawing with um, just a normal pencil, with these. I can play with um, line variation and line width. So there's the first thing. Yay! Thank you, Grumbacher and Short Pack. All right. The second thing looks pretty much just like the first. Look, they are dark gray brown cubes. And these are the same company. And these are um, these are charcoal blocks. And this is a number three charcoal. I think this is a medium weight charcoal. I don't, I'm not as familiar with my um, levels. Usually my charcoal is rated hard or soft, so I'm not sure whether number three is hard or soft, but I know I'm excited about it. And uh, if you guys are following my Instagram or my Facebook posts, you know that um, this Tuesday I was really struggling to get a drawing going, and so instead of picking up my usual soft vine and willow charcoal uh, or using a pencil I picked up one of these charcoal blocks that I had and did a drawing with it and I don't 
I can't tell you the last time I, I used one of these and just this week I did and I'm excited to do it again. So perfect timing. Thanks guys. All right. Um, Non-artists may not know that a pencil sharpener, a really solid, well-made pencil sharpener is not at all a mundane object. You can never have enough of these. They're, they're never where you want them. I'm always scrambling for one more pencil sharpener or stashing one here or there. Um, so this is great. It's a little like super sturdy, just, you know, this will survive the apocalypse uh, pencil sharpener. So, yay. All right, there's two more things, and you guys are awesome for sticking with my silly video, and I think my soup's almost, uh, you know, cool enough to eat. All right, um, this, ooh, I'm really excited. Um, you guys know I, I, uh, I don't tend to buy fancy brushes for myself because I know my limitations and I am not great at taking care of my brushes. So when I have a nice brush, I tend to save it for the times when I'm really doing something I want to, um, you know, use a good precision brush for. So this is a Grumbacher Academy flat brush number one. So number one means that it's a small and flat, which it's the, um, the shape of the brush here, you can see it's kind of a rectangular, maybe glaring too much for you to see, but it's kind of a rectangular shape. And then if I don't knock the, the um, box off, you can see it's, it's very flat. So when you're going in and doing a line or an edge or just very, you know, you know working in a, a small area, these are just, these are great. Um, and this one's lovely and I'm very excited to have it and I will keep it special and not put it with my cheap Tuesday morning bargain bin brushes, which I'm not apologizing for. You gotta know what works for you. All right. Okay, last thing um, on my grand unboxing and these are really cool. These are uh, the same brand, the Koinor. Koinor, not one I'm familiar with, but I looks pretty good. Um, and these are woodless colored pencils, but they are woodless colored pencils in a metallic gold and a metallic silver. So that's going to be really fun to play with. I'll see if I can hold them up close without too much glare for you. Um, and, uh, kind of similar to the graphite sticks, the advantage of a woodless colored pencil, you know, if you're drawing with a regular colored pencil, you're really just getting the tip of the pencil of various widths depending on how sharp your pencil is. With a woodless pencil, you can draw with the tip, but you can also take that angled piece and lay it down and get a wide swath. Um, and so I'm gonna have fun playing with these on paper and seeing what kind of surfaces I can um, mark on top of. Uh, so and they may show up in some of my collage work. They may just be sketchbook tools, but uh, I am super happy, so thank you so much Chart Pack and Gumbacher for drawing my name. This was really fun, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed my silly video. So I'm going to go eat some lunch. I hope you're all having a great day. See you later. Bye.